All right, Nick, thank you. Turning now to our coverage of the coronavirus pandemic and testing is up in Georgia. Nearly 11 million people live in our state. The governor's office reporting just over 3% of the state's population has been tested. More than 10% of new tests are positive. That's down from 16% just two weeks ago. Now this is some good news here. The FDA granting an emergency authorization for an at home COVID-19 test. The company Everly Well is supplying the kits. They're available by prescription only. The sample collection kit comes with a nasal swab, which is mailed back to an authorized lab for testing. Georgia is slowly but surely returning to what we are now calling this new normal. More people are on the roads and hitting up popular social spots like the Beltline and Piedmont Park, but there are more risks of exposure as more businesses reopen. Christy Diaz joining us live from her home in Fulton County. Christy, experts are warning now really about the time we're all spending indoors. That's the concern. So it turns out getting outside for a walk or a hike or a stroll through the park might actually be good for your health. This is according to an immunologist and professor out of the University of Massachusetts, Dartmouth. He's getting a lot of attention for a blog he wrote because he came up with this um, equation that successful infection equals exposure to the virus multiplied by time. And being indoors increases your time and your exposure to someone who may be infected. So he says this applies to any high risk place like workplaces, public transport, social gatherings, restaurants, and in your homes. Minimizing the amount of time that you spend in those environments becomes really important in lowering your risk. So think about it this way. If someone who is infected with the virus sneezes, it would be better to be out in a park or open air where it can dissipate. Instead of being inside in a home or a room where you've got a lot of walls, confined spaces and countertops where all of those particles can settle. So we've got a break in the rain now. We might, uh, you might try and get outside and get some fresh air. Sheba. All right, Christy, thank you. The Chambly City Council in self-isolation this morning after someone who attended its public meeting tested positive for coronavirus. Officials say the person was not symptomatic and had been wearing a mask, also practicing social distancing. All city workers who attended last Thursday's meeting at the Chambly Civic Center will now quarantine for 14 days. The Civic Center will be cleaned and temporarily closed for 10 days. Now to some other top stories we're following for you on this Tuesday morning.